Hey foodies, I'm gonna show you how to make bagels. Really soft, chewy in the inside, crusty on the outside, French artisanal bagels. And it only takes three ingredients. That's Frankie's bread mix, vegetable oil, and warm water. You can catch the recipe up here, or you can see in the description below. But we're gonna start by mixing our bread mix and the oil and the water all into the mixer. Okay, so it's all mixed up and you can see just how sticky and gloopy it is. It's the exact same consistency and it's the same recipe for making loaves of bread, buns, bagels, baguettes, you name it. If it has yeast in it, the Frankie's bread mix is the way to go. So I'm just gonna scrape off my mixing attachment. squares made out. And these parchment squares are great for scooping bun shaped or bagel shaped rounds. And I've got my ice cream scoop. Okay. This recipe can be doubled, tripled, quadrupled, quintupled, as many times as you want, you'll just get more and more and more bagels. You could do bagels with some of them, you could do buns with another, you could do a loaf of bread with one. It, it's really up to you. I really like the bagel because of the next step after this. I think I'm gonna get one more. So with wetted fingers, you just want to lightly touch each one, and that's just to smooth them out, and the wet fingers will keep your hands from sticking to the dough. And then you're pressing them down. part of the bagel. It's really fun. Wet finger has to be wet. Stick it in and twirl your finger around. Now I use the next finger for the next one. I use the next finger for the next one. And the next finger for the next one. And then I use the other hand. Okay, so I'm gonna throw these into a pot of boiling water with a bit of sugar. That's coming up next. So I've just set up my water and you can see it's boiling already. I'm gonna take just a couple tablespoons of sugar and stir them up. I'm just gonna use my spatula because I'm gonna be using that in a minute. The original recipe calls for honey and I don't actually have any honey with me right now, but so I'm just using some granulated white sugar. So you want to start by plopping each bagel into the water. And I'm going to do, oops, <laughs> three in there. Don't put the parchment paper in the water. Okay, so they were in for about a minute on each side. I flipped them over at the one minute mark and then 
let them go for another minute. Okay, so I'm gonna put the rest in. You can really see the parchment doesn't let the bagel stick at all. So I'm going to let those go, and while these are still cooling, I'm going to add some sesame seeds. Okay, so that is all the bagels done in their, in their little bath there. A few more sesame seeds. These are going to go in the oven at about 425 for about 20 minutes and we're going to see what they'll look like when they come out. Look at how these turned out. They look magnificent. I checked the temperature and the internal reading came to 99 degrees Celsius. That's a key important thing to remember when you're baking breads. Now let's slice one of these open. I took the, the one that was a little bit mangled and these are still really warm. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I'm gonna put a bit of cream cheese on it. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at this melt. Holy cow. Looks so good. Mmm. Salt. Mmm. Mmm. It's a bit warm, but crusty on the outside, soft and chewy on the inside. Gluten-free bagels made the way you want them to be made. So I look forward to reading all of your comments. What? flavor is your favorite bagel and maybe write it down in the comments below. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I look forward to reading your comments and seeing you soon.